László Sula from Hungarian RTL Television. Question uh, about Szoboszlai Dominik, Dominik Szoboszlai. There will be another celebration. Uh, if he plays, it will be his 50th game in, in Liverpool. Uh, so far, he played all four uh, games uh, full time, 90 minutes. Uh, how important is uh, his role for you in, in the team? I think all of the squad players I have, they have an important role and uh, he's played uh, all four of them now and uh, every player feels more important when he plays than when he's not playing but uh, every squad member has his role and during a season all of them will play a lot because we play a lot of games. But he's been uh, important for us especially uh, till now in, in our work when we don't have the ball so he's, he's been outstanding in his pressing game and I think Something that, I, that that we have to work on with him is that he's also even more involved in um, in scoring goals and creating chances for us because I think last season he scored three, if I remember correctly. And uh, for an attacking midfielder at Liverpool, there his numbers needs to go up. But um, I'm really happy with um, with the way he's done till now, and I'm 100% sure that if he plays in in a team with so much quality around him and with the quality he has, that he will. In the end, score more goals for us as well. Jen, here in the blue suit. Buonasera, Mister. Sono Paolo Vinci, Televisione Italiana, Netvic, Telecity. Yes, I can. Benissimo. Le chiedo, lei ha raccontato adesso in breve la storia del Milan, la storia del Liverpool, di grandi squadre, di grandissimi incontri e soprattutto le chiedo in questo momento di cosa si ha qual paura di qualcosa del Milan, di qualche giocatore, di qualche giocatore che vorrebbe togliere da questa squadra del Milan. Grazie. I don't know if the translation is uh, is correct, but the word scared was used. If I was scared for some players or for AC Milan, I don't think any manager or any team is scared to play the other team. But we have a lot of respect for the quality and the players uh, and the history of Milan. So, um, yeah, the first one that comes to my mind is, of course, a Dutch player, Tijani Reinders, who's done really well over here and also for the Dutch national team last week. So they have quality players. We're not scared, but we do respect uh, all of their players because they've shown uh, last uh, Saturday that, they, um, that they're in good form, had a, had a very good 4-0 win. So we respect uh, Milan a lot, but scared is not the word uh, we would use. Buonasera mister e happy birthday for tomorrow. <ride> um, prima mi sono un po' stupito perché i colleghi inglesi parlano di delusione per la sconfitta di sabato, Allison prima ha detto addirittura rimettere in carreggiata la stagione, eppure Liverpool ha fatto tre grandi vittorie nelle prime tre partite, è una sconfitta che può capitare, cioè secondo me può capitare, è, è davvero così pesante la situazione del Liverpool, cioè, è, è così tanta la delusione per questa sconfitta che bisogna tornare subito a vincere, ecco, come se fosse già una partita decisiva, una finale. Grazie. What are the you we have to, we have to put right after what went wrong on Oh, yeah, yeah. We have yeah. to be better. Uh, uh. Yeah, uh, not only the journalists were disappointed about the result uh, from us and against Nottingham Forest, uh, the team and me were really disappointed as well. Although we always put it in the right perspective, when we, when we beat United, uh, uh, the journalist and us were really positive, of course. But I also saw things we had to improve. And um, last Saturday, we didn't do as many things good as we did against United, but there were still a few things that went quite well. But it was a total different game, and that's also for tomorrow. I expect a complete different game against Milan with, uh, with, with the type of players they have and the playing style that manager has compared to, uh, to Nottingham Forest. But we should be disappointed if you lose a home game against Nottingham Forest and you play for and you work uh, for Liverpool. If you're not disappointed, if you drop points in a home game against Nottingham Forest, then uh, something is wrong. So, um, yeah, four games, nine points. It's a good start, but it's not a great start because then we would have had 12. 
Oh, no. Good evening, Ian Dennis, BBC Radio. In the old Champions League format, if you win your home games or got to 10 points, there was a fair chance that you would qualify. I'm just intrigued to think how many points you think might be required in this new phase, and also what are your thoughts about the revamped Champions League format? Oh, a lot of questions in one. Uh, I think it's difficult for me to, say, to tell you now how many points are needed, because... Um, yeah, it's the first time we play this competition and it's eight games. So uh, I was lost. I've, I've been in Europe for a few years with my former clubs and sometimes we went through, the, through to the next round, I think one time even with six points or seven points. And we ended up number one in the, in the group. So it, that is difficult to say before you start. But I think it's clear that if you want to end up in the first eight, you have to win a lot of games. You, have, you need a lot of points. Um, and what I think about the format... That's also something you can ask me better in the end. The only thing I like about it, just as someone who loves to see football every night on television, is that on every night there's a nice fixture. Um, where in the former format, sometimes there were evenings you're like, mm, okay, tomorrow is a nicer game than today. But now, for example, with our game tomorrow, I think everybody who loves football is looking forward to that game. So that is the... We will leave on a slot there as we build up to a fabulous week of Champions League football.